Gambling is an illness, you know, see, you can see in an alcoholic, in a drug addict, physically in their appearance, they, they may have problems. As I said earlier, with gambling, you, you hide things deep, deep down. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and there's that denial aspect. There is a denial, and, yeah, yeah and, and admitting defeat. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've had agents ring me up on behalf of players, probably a dozen now, since I've retired, saying, can you speak to the player? Um, he's in a lot of trouble. Um, his wife's thinking about leaving him financially. He's in trouble. And I've said, yeah, obviously, I'm not going to give him the... Um, the words to stop him, he's got to want to do it himself, sure. and he's got to get to meetings, etc. But if he wants to talk, of course I'll be there. Not one player's rang me up, so... What does that tell you? They're not ready to stop. Yeah. You know, first and foremost, it's got to come from yourself, and, um, yeah, they're not ready to stop at this moment in time, which I wasn't. Um, luckily, it, there came a time where I did stop. Um, but it, it, obviously, with the cash that footballers earn and the time they have on their hands, it's definitely um, a recipe for... For disaster, I suppose. Mm. Uh, Eric tweets to say, honestly, I have been in this situation too, and it's horrible. I lost two grand in two months, and I am trying to get better. And you mm. would recommend, presumably, Gamblers Anonymous. Yeah, Gamblers Anonymous, yeah. definitely. Just speaking to like-minded people um, who can relate to him. You know, he's mm. not going to get judged in that room in any way, shape or form. Um, people will relate to him, give him good advice. Um, and it's, it's the only place to go if you want to stop. Do you think sport, do you think football itself takes the risk of gambling, the risk of being addicted to gambling from its members, from its players, seriously enough? I'm not sure, to be honest. It's like all walks of life, like um, the person that tweeted there, it's all relative. Obviously, I've done millions of pounds, but you do what you earn as a compulsive gambler. You spend um, on gambling what you earn. And um, I do think there is people in football that, that have addiction problems, but I think in all walks of life th th there's people that have addiction problems. So I, just don't, I don't think it's rife in football in any way, but obviously I do think there is, there is issues with it.